So we have my favorite type of factory, a factory that makes pies. And it makes 450 pies a day. And they're either chicken pies or steak pies. And Milo has the wonderful job of being the pie taster. And he takes 15 pies a day. Ooh, lucky fellow. He takes 15 pies a day to check them. And it tells me that the proportion of pies in his sample is the same as the proportion of pies that are chicken. Okay, so the proportions are the same. Here we go. On Monday, he needs exactly four chicken pies in his sample. So how many chicken pies were made on Monday. So the number of chicken pies, uh, the number of chicken pies is equal to, well, four fifteenths of his sample are chicken pies. And so four fifteenths of the total are going to be chicken pies. And we just need to do that. Now, how do we do that without a calculator? Well, Let's see how we can write things uh, in factorized form. If we write that as 3 times 5 on the bottom, and then 45 is 9, which is 3 times 3 times 5. So that's the uh, 9 times 5 times 10. So I've just done a little bit of quick factorization in my head, and then I'm going to get the good old green cancelling pen out, and I'm going to cancel a 3 top and bottom, and I'm going to cancel a 5 top and bottom. And I get left with, well, let's have a look, 4 times 3, which is 12, times 10, which is 120 chicken pies. Wow. Right. OK. On Tuesday, the number of steak pies Milo needs is 6. Correct to the nearest whole number. OK. That would suggest that we need some upper and lower bounds here. And my rules for upper and lower bounds are half down, half up. OK, so he could need, let's just have a look at this, um, for the uh, number of pies in the, sorry, number of steak pies in the sample. Uh, in the sample is six, but we need a lower bound. Now, a half down would be five and a half, uh, and the upper bound would be a half up, which is six and a half. I don't know what that information is going to do for us, but we've written it down anyway. He takes at random a pie from the 450 pies made on Tuesday, and we want to work out the lower bound for the probability that the pie is a steak pie. Okay, so actually, we want the lower bound of the proportion of pies that are steak pies. So the lower bound, therefore, of the probability of getting a steak pie is going to be the proportion of steak pies, the lower bound for the proportion of steak pies. So that's 5.5 .5 over 15, Okay, which is the probability, but we need to simplify that, or perhaps we need to simplify that so let's see if we can. First of all, let's get rid of this decimal point. So multiply the top and bottom by 10. So I'll just write down that that's what I'm doing. Notice that by multiplying by 10 on the top and the bottom, I'm just multiplying by 1. So I haven't changed anything. So that's 55 over 150. And because I'm me, I'm going to simplify that. 55 is 5 times 11. 15 is 5 times 3, and I've got a 10 on the end there, because uh, that's 15 times 10 is 150. And with the green cancelling pen, I can get rid of one of the 5s, top and bottom, and that gives me 11 over 30, although they'll probably accept 55 over 100. Right, I'm going to eat some pie. <laughs>